Um, I decided to do a biography. I thought it would be fun. Um, I decided I would uh, talk about John Hancock. Um, he was born on January 23rd, 1737. Uh, the reports say January 12th, 1736. He was uh, an American founding father, a merchant, a statesman, and uh, a prominent patriot of the American Revolution. Um, he's one of the reasons why the country was founded. Uh, his death date is October 8th, 1793. Um, I should be able to remember that because my uh, best friend was born on October 8th. Obviously quite a few years after that, but still. Um, he uh, served as president of the Second Continental Congress and he was the first and the third governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Um, the reason why people, they call it a John Hancock is because he was remembered for his long and stylish signature in the Declaration of Independence. Um, so that's how we came up with that. He also signed the Articles of Confederation and used his influence to ensure that Massachusetts ratified the United States Constitution in 1788. And I just want to say it here now, he was not a perfect man, none of a sort, but he was uh, very instrumental in the country's founding. Uh, he, um, before the American Revolution, he was one of the wealthiest men in all of the 13 colonies. Um, before the country was founded, so he inherited a profitable uh, mercantile business from his uncle. Now, an interesting story, his dad had a bunch of uh, children, and he was a preacher man, and he didn't make a lot of money, and so his uncle offered to take on John and adopt him and all of this and give him uh, an inheritance and everything because he didn't have any kids or at least he didn't have any sons. I don't think he had any kids at all. But um, he began his political career in Boston as a protege of Samuel Adams. Um, he was an influential local uh, politician. Uh, the, the two men, that's uh, John Hancock and Samuel Adams, they eventually became estranged. Um, uh, Hancock uh, used his wealth uh, to support colonial causes and, and uh, because um, Great Britain and the colonies were increasingly not getting along back in the 1760s. Um, he was very popular in Massachusetts, especially the Boston area, because of uh, certain things he did um, uh, to make this a country um, before it became a country and to uh, fuel the fire between Great Britain and the United States. Um, So, um, he was born in Braintree, Massachusetts, um, in the part of the town that eventually became Quincy, Massachusetts. He was the son of uh, Colonel John Hancock, Jr. A brain tree and Mary Hawk Thaxter, uh, widow of Samuel Thaxter Jr., who was from nearby Hinkle, Massachusetts. Um, uh, as a child, Hancock became a casual acquaintance of young John Adams, uh, 
uh, who the Reverend Hancock had baptized in 1735. The Hancocks lived a comfortable life and owned one slave to help with the household work. Like I said, he wasn't perfect. Uh, after Hancock's father died in 1744, he was sent to live with his uncle and aunt, Thomas Hancock and Lydia Henchman Hancock. Thomas Hancock was his was the proprietor of a firm known as the House of Hancock, um, which imported manufactured goods from Britain and exported rum, well oil, and fish. Um, it was a highly successful business. It was one of the richest in Boston, in Boston, and he was one of the best known residents of the area. Um, um, they did not have any children of their own. That's how he became um, their son. Um, their adopted son. Um, he went to Harvard College uh, and graduated there. Um, so he's well educated. He uh, fought in several wars, at least the French and Indian War. Um, Thomas Ed Cock, who was his uncle, I believe. I believe that was. Uh, um, yeah. Thomas Hancock uh, had close relations with the um, royal governors of Massachusetts and he secured uh, government contracts during the war. Um, um, Hancock, um, John Hancock lived in England while building relationships with uh, customers and suppliers. Um, uh, basically, he didn't like being taxed, taxed to death, so in a way, it wasn't patriotism of America exactly, but also he didn't want to be highly taxed and not have representation, which is not exactly in the Constitution, but it is an ideal that we hold close in the United States. Um, and, and basically he was an, a, a popular American while he was alive, especially in his home state of Massachusetts, particularly um, in his, um, which, that, what, um, which, you know, he was born in America while it was part of the uh, British America, but um, he wanted to be free from the taxation and the soldiers just running rough, rough shot over everybody and taking whatever they wanted uh, from people. Um, I couldn't possibly do a 15 minute deep dive, you know, it'd be hours just to scratch the surface, but there are some interesting videos on YouTube. There's a lot of interesting articles. He really is an interesting man. Uh, and he helped uh, somewhat with um, giving ideals about what should be in the Constitution. Um, but people don't know much about him other than um, what he said, you know, what people say about signatures, sign your big John Hancock, you know. Um, he was the, pre the um, president of the Continental Congress. Um, so, you know, he, he deserves being remembered, in my opinion. Um, 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 
So, he was a very important person in the history of the United States, in my opinion. And you should um, look into him a little bit. And in fact, I think I'll look into him a little bit more. I doubt I'll do a part two, unless people want it. But, you know, um, there's not really a lot of information about him, I don't think, unless you do a, unless you're like a historian that looks into every historic thing. There's definitely more um, information about Sam Adams and both uh, John Adams and John Quincy Adams and Thomas Jefferson and a lot of other people that were born in the same time frame. Um, but I just wanted to um, do a, a, a little uh, video, uh, uh, audio about him and um, I'll put this up for I think probably a Sunday. I should be able to do a few more batches tomorrow or Thursday one and then I'll be um, three weeks ahead again but I like that that way because that you know look what happened before I, I was three weeks ahead and by the time my back got better and all of that I was only a week ahead. Um, so, I'm trying to do this, well, actually less than a week ahead. Because it's the 17th, and I had the one for the 21st scheduled. Um, but not the one for the 23rd, 25th, and 27th. I think this will be for the 29th, and then um uh, in a, uh, tomorrow or the next day I'll do one for the 30th, 30, uh, the, the 30th, the 1st, and the 3rd, at the very least. And then, and, you know, or I might do one for the 4th as well, and uh, that way I'll be a little bit ahead. Um, I don't like being too far behind. Um, but anyway, it shouldn't affect you. Uh, sorry I got to rambling. Um, this was about John Hancock, the wonderful patriotic American that had his flaws but was all in all a good man. And um, please like, subscribe, comment, share. And if you comment, uh, as long as it's constructive, you can comment anything that you won't. Um, if you have any ideas on how to help this channel grow, uh, I'm open. Either um, email me at uh, truecrimelover2022 at gmail.com And with that said, I'm, I'm going to go because uh, I did good. I kept it under 15 minutes. Um, and with that said, I will see you uh, you will see or hear me next video. Okay, bye-bye.